I am Matt Heinzelman. I am the curator for the Austria-Germany Study Center and the curator for rare books and manuscripts at the Hill Museum and Manuscript Library. And today I'm sh showing you a pictorial uh, biography of St. Benedict, which we're doing recording the day after the Feast of St. Benedict, so it's almost timely in that sense. This pictorial biography is based on the, bio uh, the main bio biographical source that we have which is from the second dialogue of St. Gregory. And it goes through the entire life of Benedict from being a little boy all the way up through his career as a hermit and into his life uh, in establishing monasteries in Italy. Uh, it was printed in Rome in 1587. And it's a, a very nice example of how people want to actually see what uh, the person looked like, even if this was made a thousand years after uh, Benedict lived. Now, about 10 years after they printed this, in the late 16th century, in the year 1596, they wanted to come out with a new edition. And the new edition was going to be larger, and what they did was they copied the plates very closely. Unlike today, when we can make photographic copies of things, we can digitize things, we can um, do all sorts of things to make new copies, they had to re-engrave the entire plate and make it look as much like the original as possible. And here you see two pictures of Benedict when he was a young man living in a cave as a hermit. And people are coming to bring him food and coming to talk to him and ask for spiritual advice. And so it's very interesting to compare the two that you see many of the details are very, very similar but then sometimes, like the tree here, looks just a little bit different. And so it's, it's fun to see for us today how they try very hard to imitate the ev previous style, but aren't able to do exactly the same thing. And then one last thing on this book is that this book was also an inspiration for a modern edition of the life of Benedict. This time, instead of having the text in Latin or in Italian, like in this one, the text is in English. And what they did was they used the same plates from this book to make a new version that could be sold and used for people in, in today's world with an English text at the bottom explaining what the picture just uh, shows. This last book was designed by someone who was very important to St. John's, a man named Frank Kazmarczyk who gave us the Arca Artium collection, which is about 5,000 rare books, 15,000 uh, reference books, and several thousand works of art. So this is really a very important piece for us because it tells us some of our history to the materials that we actually own.